Have you ever been broke? I've been broke, and let me tell you this, it sucks. Uh, there's nothing quite like the feeling, nothing like the nervous tension you get when you realize your flow of paychecks has just stopped, and the bills are still coming, so you better think of something quick. People who've had money their entire lives can't understand and can't appreciate this, because they've never had to deal with this kind of a problem. You know, uh, you, you, you can't have it all good all the time. You can't enjoy the sunny day without the rainy day. You can't enjoy the Friday without the Monday. You can't enjoy the paycheck without the bills. But when you have the money and you can just pay off your bills every month, that's good. But not everyone has that situation. And how can you get to be in that situation? That's what you got to learn how to do. You got to have a good regular job. You got to have some side jobs too to make that extra money. And believe it or not, I've been fired a few times in my life. Sometimes they had a good reason. Most of the time they didn't have a good reason. You know, all I know is what they told me, or I would get that call after 5 o'clock on Friday from a temp agency. Yes, uh, your assignment has ended, and we have no other information. Okay, uh, you're going to still keep paying me money though, right? No. Okay, now that's a problem. Hmm. Okay. What do I do now? Think fast. One thing a lot of people have today is a side job, a side hustle, they call it in the media. And it's always a good thing to have. I've had one myself for a long time. Way back, many, many years ago, oh, a good 15 years ago, uh, I was hanging out with some friends of mine who uh, didn't have any kind of education, any real high-tech jobs or good income or anything. And I told them, hey, I just signed up to go to a computer school to learn about computer stuff. And they're like, ah, Tim, don't bother doing that. You ain't going to get no kind of good job out of that. Really? Why not? You know, you gotta do something. You can't just sit around your whole life and do nothing and have nothing and be nothing. A lot of people do, but I'm better than that. I can do better. I want better. I want more. And I'm willing to do what it takes to achieve it. And now, 15 plus years later, I'm doing a lot better. And they're in the same situation they were all those years ago. Ah. Uh, I'm not the kind of person to say, I told you so. Well, no, I am the kind of person to say, I told you so. But I was right. Uh, computer work is something I did many, many years ago, and I've made a nice amount of extra cash off of it in the meantime. Way back when I first started, I would be uh, fixing people's, I would advertise on the side to go and fix people's computers at their home. Uh, I uh, upgraded a lot of old machines to Windows XP. Uh, then when Windows Vista came out, I took a lot of machines off of Vista, put them back on XP. When Windows 7 came out, I took a lot of XP and Vista machines and upgraded them to 7. When Windows 8 came out, I changed a lot of them back to 7. And when Windows 10 came out, I changed a lot of those back to 7 and sometimes 8. So thank you, Microsoft, for constantly changing your Windows operating systems and making things different because that made me a lot of work. And let me tell you this, having that side hustle really helped out a lot. There were many times that getting that money from fixing someone's computer made all the difference in the world in paying the rent on time or putting a tank of gas in the car or making a trip to the supermarket. Many times over the years, that was the difference. So now things are doing a lot better for me. I started doing real computer work for companies back in about 2012. And I've evolved and gotten better and better, bigger, better paying jobs over the years from that. And so I constantly do that as the regular job. Now, I don't do the side work so much anymore. I don't really need to anymore. But I have other ways, you know, always, I'm never happy with just one source of income. I get some money from this, some money from that, some money from that. And as I always tell my wife here, Money plus money equals more money. I'd rather have more money than less. Now, I'm not rich by any means. I'm nowhere near being rich. But then again, there's some money in the bank. Every time the end of the month bills come around, mortgage, paid. Car payment, paid. Cell phone, paid. Electric, paid. No problem. You know, and boy, is that a good feeling. Because I always think back to when paying these bills was a problem. For many, many years, the only way I was ever going to get a brand new set of tires on my car all at once was a tax refund time. Having $500 in the bank 
was an occasion to be celebrated because it wasn't going to be there for long because there was always bills waiting to take it. Now, here are some situations that I had a hard time with over time. Uh, the apartment I used to live in from when this website was created up through episode 140 in the uh, winter of 2005, I had some particularly bad times that resulted in this situation right here. Look at this. This is the meter base of my old apartment. And uh, I had a problem once, way back, I think it was in 2005 in the winter time. I was behind on my bill and the power company actually came out and shut off the power. Now in the apartment, it's all electric heat, electric water heat, electric stove. So that was pretty bad. And after a couple days, I realized, hey, look, in this meter base, the main breaker is outside. I came back out here, flipped it on, my power was back on. And so uh, people with the management here wasn't too happy about that, but I got the bill paid pretty quick after that, and then everything was okay. But uh, you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do here. And did you know that when you're broke, you have to become a mathematician? I'm talking engineering physics level of mathematician. You have to make this amount of money do this much money things. And so you have to get very creative very quick. Look at this. Here is some broke math for you. When you're broke and you ain't got nothing, you become a real mathematician by necessity. These are the kind of things you have to think of. And I've been in this situation myself. Let's say, for example, it's Sunday. And you don't get your paycheck in your bank account until Saturday morning. How are you going to get through this week? Well, okay, you've uh, got all the change out of the couch cushions. You looked under the seats of your car. Every nickel and dime you have in a world put together gets you all the way up to $23.40. Gas is $2.79 a gallon. Your car gets 18 miles per gallon. That will get you 8.38 gallons, which means you can drive 150.8 miles plus whatever gas is already in your car, and you know from experience that on your gas gauge, E doesn't really mean E until exactly 23 miles after the needle is perfectly centered on the E. So, this might get you to work all week, driving to the parking lot and back home. But wait a minute, that's not all we have to think about. Do you have any bills that are about to get shut off this week? What about food? What about any other expenses that you know are coming and it just ain't going to fit in the money you have? You have this much money and you need to do this much with it. That kind of stress and worry can only happen from not having the money. And it's not fun. So these are some of the things I've learned from being broke now and then over the years. It's never a good situation to be in, but it makes you think and learn real fast. And it can be so frustrating too because you're applying for jobs. You're ready to go back to work. You want to go back to work. If someone was going to pay me money to cut their grass with a pair of scissors, I would do it just to get that money and you know keep the bills paid here. That's the kind of situation you can get into in your head when you're out of money and you don't know where the next paycheck's coming from. But learn from this and put it to use in your own life and don't get in the same situation because it's no fun.